Hey guys, Valerie and Abigail here. I wanted to introduce you guys. She is two and a half months. I can't believe how the time flies. Say hi, baby girl. So she is a leap year baby. She came at 12.03 a.m. and February 29th was my due date. Um, I thought she was gonna come sometime within week 38 or 39 of um, my pregnancy, but nope, she waited to the very, uh, last day i mean she could have stayed in there longer i guess but i've never um experienced pregnancy all the way through to week 40 so she came exactly on her due date she came at 12:03 a.m so <laughs> she definitely waited to uh, get the most rare birthday possible but i'm glad that she was she's a february baby like me and she was born seven pounds, 13 ounces, so not too big. Um, I was in the delivery room awaiting my uh, epidural and the doctor checked my dilation. Ah! Oh, okay, okay. And the my water broke, so I was not able to get the epidural. Um, ah! to, oh, oh, you're yelling at me? Ah! You're yelling at me? So I had to have her um, unmedicated, which I've never experienced before. I have delivered uh, five other babies. She is my sixth uh, birth. We have seven kids total. Our oldest is actually my son. My my oldest is my son through marriage. So my my stepson. We don't use that word though. Step. He is. He's my child. I've been raising him since he was very little. My firstborn son um, is my husband's son as well, technically stepson, but we never say like stepbrother and all that stuff. So anyways, we have seven. We have six boys, and she's our first and only girl, and we're very happy to have her. Video, get out. I'm not editing that out that this is the fourth or fifth attempt at this video and each time I've been interrupted sorry it's what happens when you have a large family and we live in a small house so there is zero privacy unless you're literally in the bathroom with the door locked and even then I have my one and two year old knocking on the door constantly trying to get in <laughs> so I'm sure you other uh, parents understand that but i just wanted to introduce you guys to abigail because you know it's it's been quite a while already and i just can't do all the editing and stuff so i'm just going to keep it as simple as possible uh film and upload very simple so here is our newest family member our our baby girl she is 10 she will be 11 weeks um tomorrow saturday yes 11 weeks so she's two and a half months old oh, she has that baby smell i love it she sleeps very well um last night she slept from i want to say like 11 or 12 midnight until about seven in the morning so lucky me this time she's a very good sleeper she nurses very well um, it took a few weeks for me to get out of the painful nursing stage when every time she uh, would latch, I would be like in extreme pain. Um, it wasn't because she was latching incorrectly or anything. I, I guess it was just my body getting used to nursing again. But I feel fine now. It doesn't hurt. She nurses very well. Um, sometimes as she's nursing on one side, I'm able to use the pump on the other side to extract all the milk because she usually uh, drinks from one side at a time and then from the next side at the next feeding. So I don't know. I guess one, one breast is enough to fill her and she's good until the next feeding. But uh, I, I have to pump that side she doesn't nurse on because if I leave it uh, too long, it'll be too full and it'll actually hurt. So... 
she is oh man i weighed her yesterday i believe and i think she was like 11 or 12 pounds she's super tiny she's like the size that my last baby was when he was just like two weeks old and she's two and a half months so and she's sleepy right now look oh won't you play with her face won't you touch your cutie my baby and if you can see her eyes they're like silver like a they're like a bright gray um all of our babies came out oh she's smiling at herself on the camera all of our babies came out with these bright gray eyes um me and my husband have five kids together um only one of them came out where their eyes turned from this gray to a, a brown uh, we have one one green eyed one like a green hazel the other one's like um uh, uh, he still has like gray eyes sometimes they look bluish sometimes they look greenish she still has silver eyes so hey eh. oh no my love oh where are you going sorry she's starting to flop around it's like can't have that can't have that you just had milky she's tired Alrighty. <laughs> She's tired, my love. She is spoiled rotten because, you know, she has mommy and daddy. And she has six older brothers, all of whom literally fight over who gets to hold her next. <laughs> so she's always pretty much in someone's hand. And I'm not complaining. We all love to hold her. And she's definitely a princess, and she's spoiled, and we all love it. Hey, baby girl. Hey. Who is that pretty girl? That's my pretty girl. Yeah. Where are you going? She likes to sleep on someone. Like, this is how she likes to sleep. Like this either on me or daddy she likes to pretty much like bury her face in your armpit area and when she's laying on the bed with um, my husband and i she lays right between us and she wants to make sure she's touching both of us so sometimes what i do is if i need to like leave the room or something and leave her in here by herself on my bed ow ow You're pinching me hard i'll put her um with my husband's pillow and my pillow pillow on either side of her um but i make it like a shaped like a v so it's the pillow's not near her face but it's still touching her like from her waist down and close enough that she can smell our scents on the two pillows and she sleeps for a little bit like that but she's she's not easily fooled she wakes up pretty quickly that just buys me about maybe 10 15 minutes <laughs> So, um, we will let you guys go, and I appreciate you guys watching and coming to meet our little one. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen her. I post photos of her all the time. Um, so if you're not following me there, you definitely want to, because even though I'm not uh, super consistent with a regular schedule on YouTube, I'm a little more consistent over on Instagram sometimes it's just easier to snap a picture than to set up a camera and do a video and then film and edit and all the rest that that's a lot of work especially when I don't have the quiet space or the privacy to do that Oy, don't attack me I'm, I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying I think I'm gonna go with a go on a little walk with her around the block so that she can fall asleep and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.